Good morning, everybody. Peace and love. This is Cassandra. Welcome back to Cassandra's Garden. How are all of you doing this morning? Okay, so my YouTube channel started out as Doing Gardening, which is my number one absolute passion. My heart is with planting herbs. My heart is in a garden. It's also with my soap company. That is what makes me the happiest. So, as you may know, if you've been following me, and, and if, if you've not, I'll go ahead and tell you, my husband and I right now live in an apartment home. And we live in a very beautiful upscale community. It's very beautiful here, but it's really, really pricey. I mean... It's very, very high priced, especially for the area. It's really overpriced. And I get that, you know, there's certain reasons why they overprice certain areas. You know, that's fine, whatever. But my husband and I are really wanting to become homeowners. One of our biggest holdups has been where do we really want to buy a home? Because when we buy one, that's it. That's going to be forever. It's going to be our forever home. And um, we have really been going back and forth with each other where we want to buy. Well, we have happily decided on a place. That will come in a later video. So when we move to this particular community, I don't get enough sun out on my balcony. So, a matter of fact, I don't get any sun. So, all my plants are dying. And I didn't want to, you know, bring this on YouTube and tell, tell you guys and gals this. Because it was, you know, rather embarrassing. But I'm just not getting enough sun. So, I, I really got into a big state of depression. Like, I was completely and totally just depressed. I told my husband, we got to get out of here. I can't take it anymore. And I actually told my husband that last night. I said, I don't care. I've got to get out of this place. We have been searching for a rental house just until we can move to the area that we want to. But we can't find anything that's really decent and up to our living standards. So there's, there's another issue. And I'm sure that a lot of you who live in apartments probably have went through the same thing. And I'm right there with you. So we're still looking to, you know, find a place that we can rent until we can move because the area that we want to buy is pretty far away from where we're at now. So I got really depressed because I thought this sunroom, this is, you know, my sunroom, I thought, oh my God, I can at least have plants in my sunroom. That didn't happen. I had a tulip to bloom once, and then they all died. I had one tulip to come up. I was, I came home from work, and I was, I screamed to the top of my lungs because I was literally growing tulips in my sunroom. They, one bloomed, and then they died. They just died. This sunroom does not allow enough light. You would think that it would, but I don't get enough sun here. And I've been really, really down, like just to the point of I'm so brokenhearted. I told my husband, I said, I don't care if we rent a shack as long as I can have a yard to plant, to garden. And um, I'm just at that point now because I can make it work. <laughs> I really can. As long as it ain't got no bugs in it and I can make it work but um we're still looking and uh so all my plants started to die, to die and I was just overwhelmed with grief because I don't want to live here if I can't have plants <laughs> I mean the pool is not that great people okay <laughs> I mean this area is not that upscale for the price that they charge so, this is my amaryllis that I planted in 2019. 
the, um, the amaryllis grew tall and gorgeous, but I didn't have one of these, and it fell over and broke. My heart broke with that flower because it was absolutely glorious. It had four ginormous red blooms all the way around on a tall stalk. It was absolutely magical. I was so proud of myself. Well, when I, th I just anticipated I would have to throw the whole thing out. Look at this. It's still thriving. The leaves are so gorgeous. I just, I could not bear to throw it out. Well, now she's had babies. I'm probably going to end up having to transplant these. And I noticed <clears throat> that she does very, very well in here. And what this gets is dappled sun to shade. Well, check this out. My clovers were dying. Okay, I managed to save a few. My daughter got the whole container because her balcony gets lots of sun. Lots and lots of sun. And I had to take some of my flowers and plants and give them to her. And they are flourishing now. Well, I saved one clover, and I don't know why she's browning right there. Pro I don't know. I'm not sure. But look, she's had babies. And look, there's more. You see that little curl right there? See that? Let's see if I can focus. Mm. See that little curl right there? Well, it's that pot's going to fill up with clover. So, <clears throat> one of my other favorite flowers is, um, it, it's my company, it's also my company logo, and it looks, it has a striking resemblance to the lotus flower, but it's not a lotus flower. It actually grows from the soil. And I found out that I can plant those in here because they, they are shade-loving plants. So now, I'm going to be making lots of videos and um, giving you educational information about shade-loving plants that are absolutely beautiful. There, I did not know that there was that many flowers on the planet that did not do well in sunlight, but, did, but thrived in dappled sun to shade. So I'm going to start shade loving plants in my sunroom and I cannot wait to go on this journey with you. I hope that you come with me. I can't wait to show you everything and you know just talking about my plants dying. I don't know if you can tell in my voice. I'm literally fighting tears. <laughs> I'm such I'm such a weirdo like that, but I love my plants. And you would think having these big windows and this being quote-unquote a sunroom and the sun literally does shine in here, you would think that plants would thrive in here, but they do not. And um, we've got to get out of this apartment. <laughs> There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. However, shade-loving plants can be wonderful if you have a, a yard full of trees, but you still want flowers. So I'm going to embark on this journey, and I would love to take you with me. I'm going to really be diving in to understanding and getting back to the science uh, behind shade-loving plants. I want to learn, I want to grow, and I want to educate you as well. Everything that I learn, I'm going to teach you. So I'm thinking that my amaryllis is a shade-loving plant because she's done nothing but thrive. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, guys. She's got three babies. I told you two. Look at there. There's another one. I just saw it. That is so crazy. Now, I will tell you <clears throat> that I've had to do a necessary evil, <laughs> and I did have to use a product to kill gnats that typically want to get in house plants. Um, it, it is made with a chemical, but it worked. <laughs> but I have also discovered uh, something that I'm going to be sharing with all of you 
Uh, it's uh, very easy. It's a natural pesticide that I'm going to be sharing with all of you too. But it did work. I don't have any more. I don't have any more gnats in my plants, and they're all thriving. Now my palm trees that are in here, they are doing amazing, and I'll be showing you that too. I, but I want. I'm going to start while I'm in this apartment. I'm going to be growing shade loving flowers and plants and I'm going to bring you along and I'll teach you everything that I learn and I'll teach you everything that I know. I just wished I'd have known to have one of these when my stalk came up but it was so thick and strong I didn't think it would topple over but it did. You know that's a uh, that, you know it's a learning process but I'm just so glad that she's still thriving. Now, from what I understand, once an amaryllis blooms, it takes three to four years for it to bloom again. But the leaves are so glorious and gorgeous. I don't mind at all waiting because it gives such beautiful foliage. And I'm going to have to transplant these babies. I'm going to wait till they get a little bit stronger. I don't want to shock them. But I did not know she had three babies. I was just only seeing these two. And then I, when I was talking to you guys and gals, see, y'all are my good luck charm. This is why I love all y'all so much. And when I was talking to y'all, I just saw the third one. I'm so happy. And then my little clovers here, <laughs> they're just thriving away. And I'm not doing anything really. Um, I'm not even really doing anything, you know, special. The only thing that I did do was using Necessary Evil. I did use a uh, formula that I bought from the store, from the hardware store, to kill insects, and it's not organic. But I, I was determined, you know, you're not going to take my plants. <laughs> I've got to have something. So, and I can't wait to show you guys and gals my ivy, my English ivy that's outside, that's actually thriving with absolutely zero sun. I'm, I'm got a little plan for it, so I want it to be pretty, or at least getting pretty <laughs> when I show you, but I can't wait to show you more. So we're going to be doing a lot of shade and dapple sun loving plants and flowers, but I can't wait till the day that I show y'all I got a house and I got a yard, and you're going to love what I'm going to do. But for right now, we're going to concentrate on shade and dapple sun loving plants and flowers. Well, I love all you guys and gals. Thank you for watching. Peace and love, and I will see you very soon.